got to give credit. Kevin Porter Jr., like his dad, pulled that trigger right at the right time. Boy, that one stung. So, Bill, since you were the one who uh, asked for LeBron today, we'll go ahead and start off with you with your question. <laughs> Good afternoon, LeBron. Well, um, yeah, I mean, obviously you sent a tweet this morning about the, the, the Kevin Porter Jr. moment that made its way around the internet, and there's been more on it since then with um, the announcer kind of explaining the, the, the um, mistake. And I just was curious if you had any anything to um, add to your uh, your initial thoughts when you first when you first saw the video and saw what was going around. What was, what was his mistake? That he believed that he his his understanding was that or excuse me not his understanding he thought in the moment that kevin porter jr was the son of kevin porter who played for the wizards or excuse me the bullets in uh in the 70s in the 70s and 80s yeah which is kevin porter the guy who played for the bullets that's 71 years old today in which he would have had kevin porter join when he was 50. is that what we're talking about so okay so i i stand by my tweet and i stand by everything i said so Okay, let's just say, let's just say he thought that was the case. So we get we get we get uh, scouting reports on players, and I know you guys from the media, y'all get memos and stuff from players and stuff before the game, right? Y'all get like packets and stuff when y'all come to the game and what's going on in games, right? And I believe that. I'm not a play-by-play -play person analyst, but I believe that they do they do diligence as well and they get their reports on teams that they're about to play as long as their own team, right? So I, I was actually watching the game live last night when I heard it. Um, and I waited. I didn't do it right away, as you've seen from my tweet. I was watching the game. So if that's the case, if if, if I am a play-by-play a, a -play announcer, right, and I'm covering a team in my local my local team in his case he was he's covering the wizards so he remembers the kevin porter who used to play for the bullets correct the first thing i would have done i would have said oh kevin porter jr is coming into town let me see if that's his son i would have did that due diligence way before and i think everyone on this call would have did the same thing Tell me, am I wrong? Anybody? Okay, don't say anything. My second point. I watched the whole game. Not at one point did he ever reference, which, which he thought was Kevin Porter Sr. Anytime when Kevin Porter Jr. was playing in that game. That's point two. Point three, if he didn't look for Kevin Porter Sr. thinking that was his son, Oh, I would have just been like, I would have looked at Kevin Porter Jr. and saying, let me see if this is his dad that played for the Bullets in the 70s. You would have known that. That's point three. Point four, what he said, no matter if he thought that I was his dad or not, was so insensitive in the, in the words that he used, that we know the words that he used, I don't even want to repeat it, is not even something that should be ever said. That's four. And last, because you guys know that I calculate everything. Last, me personally, when Isaiah Thomas from Washington State was coming up in the ranks, when I heard Isaiah Thomas, the first thing I thought about was the, the great Isaiah Thomas from the Pistons. So I Googled this of that kid in Washington to see if they had any relations. And I was like, oh, is this is just, I thought like for a second, I was like, is that his son? No. We'll come to find out. I did my research. His dad, Magic Johnson fan, lost the bet during the finals. And then his best friend said, if you lose, if they lose to the uh, Pistons, you got to name your son Isaiah Thomas. Go further. I played against a guy early in my career named Mike James. They played for the Raptors. They played for a lot of teams. And then Mike James, uh, that's just been in and out of the league over the last few years. Same name. I actually looked that up and thought, that, do they have any resemblance? Do they have any relations? No, they don't. 
This is not just like in basketball. This is in on multiple sports. Patrick Sertan Jr. That's now with the Broncos. I did my due diligence on that. I was like, oh wow, that's the that's the great Patrick Sertan. That's his son. Ashanti Samuels that's here, local, that plays for the Chargers, Jr. Oh, his dad was a was a monster with the Eagles. But I did my research. And Marvin Harrison Jr., that's at Ohio State right now. I had to go and make sure that was the great Marvin Harrison that we know from Peyton Manning and Marvin Harrison all those years that his son. I don't want to hear that excuse. Could he have made a mistake? Absolutely. But in our job, in our field, as professionals, we are in a professional league. You got to do your due diligence and do your job all the way to the point where why did he even say that at the end of that game anyways? Those words. So I'm not taking back nothing I said. Nothing at all. I think I explained that pretty good. Bill, you, do you have a follow-up? Uh, I, I suppose, yeah. Uh, so LeBron, you, I was wondering if you saw Kevin Love's uh, follow-up tweet. And if you, so you, you kind of come down on in a different side from, from what Kevin said. Did you see it? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. What did uh, say? Do you mind if I raise you real quick? He just said, uh, after, after the statement came out from the Glenn Consular, he said, healthy discussion to be had here. Context is everything. I know Glenn is well-respected within the league. Our blink reaction as players is slash was to protect one of our own. So that's we're going to continue to protect our players. And I'm not taking no... The respect factor is there, and they said he's he's supposed to be a smart, very smart guy, right? Is that what everybody's saying? The guy's a very smart guy. So if you're a very smart guy, I believe you should be able to do your homework on situations. We're, 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 we're talking about, we're not talking about him saying something about me or saying something about any, I'm gonna just speak from my point. I'm, we, we, we already, the, the kid Kevin Porter Jr. has already been placed with a label in his league already. And we don't know what can trigger. We don't know what triggers can happen. At all. So if you're doing your homework on any one of these kids that's in this league, that, that word that he used for that kid to make that game winning shot, that sentence that he used, no matter if he knew if that was his dad or not, should have never been used in the first place never been used and if you go and just look at the if you know the history of this kid's dad you can't sit here and tell me that those words that just a, a, a direct correlation come on God. like come on i'm not saying that this guy i don't not, i don't i never met the guy i don't know him i pray for him like i said in my tweet but i i can't i'm not i can't let that ride on the behalf of a kid that looks up to me. Kevin Porter Jr. looks up to me and it's my obligation to make sure that he knows that he has my back. I mean, that I have his back. That's just, that's just a simple fact. Kyle? Um, LeBron, I, I, I want to change subject. It's just, it is an interesting subject, um, but I, I do have a different question here. Um, I can answer any question. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. Don't worry about it. It's really, fine. Interesting, really interesting discussion. Um, but uh, just, you know, you could, you, I, th I think just with your play recently, it seems like you're making a case uh, to, to kind of be included again in the MVP discussion. Does that matter to you at this point in your career? Does it matter more? Does it matter less that your achievements are, are up there with the best of some of your peers in the NBA? Well, I think uh, when you are placed in the MVP conversation, that means that your team is winning games and you're, and you're playing at a level that's helping. What a well-designed play. And um, you got to give credit. Kevin Porter Jr., like his dad, pulled that trigger right at the right time. Boy, that one stung. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, D. Smith. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It's your boy, I'm out of here.